And uh, I mean, soft today, but only a couple of percent. But uh, uh, even down six or seven percent uh, on the week is not necessarily that groundbreaking for Tesla. It's in the high 600s, not the low 600s still. But either way, what, what's the reason for the weakness this week in, in your eyes? Yeah, I think it's really the safety probe into full self-driving. That's going to be a big focus tonight. You know, that continues to be one of the keys to success for Tesla going forward in terms of autonomous, in terms of ultimately the software piece. And it was a bit of a black eye what we saw this week in terms of the probe. And right now, investors, it's, it's really been a glass half empty view of Tesla and a lot riding, not just on execution, but really them showing the differentiation on that flywheel that Musk and Fremont have built. Will we actually get clear answers and guidance on that tonight, do you think? Or will it be more focused on what the event was meant to be in the first place? Well, I think that the, the heart of the event is really going to be about AI and the technology, some of the supercomputer capabilities where they're going forward on data. I think it's Tesla really trying to show not just recruiting engineers, but showing more and more where they're taking the story in terms of data. That's going to be a key to monetizing that. But I do think that we're going to start to get some hints around, you know, where they're going, potentially on level four autonomous, because that's important in terms of FSD. If you look at the stock, in order to really start to get to a four-digit name, four-digit stock, you really need FSD to get on that better trajectory. And these safety issues that we've seen, they've been step backs. And it's one right, right now, investors, it's a bit of a prove me story. And I think a lot's riding on tonight from Musk and company to kind of at least lay out that sort of foundation for where this is going over the coming years. It's not just Tesla, Dan. You wrote this very bullish note this week about the green tidal wave and the massive transformation that these companies are undergoing. And yet the stocks aren't getting a lot of love. Some of them are SPACs, which have their own issues. But why are investors not buying into it? Well, I think right now there's just more and more competition. And, and it was, it's not just Tesla. If you go back a year and a half, two years ago, Tesla really owned the EV market. We view it as a $5 trillion green tidal wave over the next decade. And I think investors, it's sort of a prove me sector to show that we're really going to see the demand trajectory spike, especially here in the U.S. Now, I believe this is really today called 3% of automobiles. I think we go to 10% by 2025 penetration, 20% by 2030. But it's a prove me sector. It's a little right now. Bloom's come off the rose. But in my opinion, this continues to be a transformational area, probably the biggest uh, change we've seen to the auto industry since 1950s. Dan, how close are you watching Fed at Jackson Hole uh, as it relates to your price targets for stocks like Tesla? Do you, do you think where the yield curve sort of settles after the next month or so of Fed announcements will really impact the, the, the uh, target prices you put out for these stocks? Well, I think it does in terms of the, the macro, because right now, you know, the, despite what we've seen called the last few days, it's a risk on in terms of tax. Some of the safety blanket names, Microsoft, Adobe and others, but, but even on some of the regulatory risks, you know, if you look at the fundamentals, those stocks continue to move higher. But in terms of the re-ratings, that's going to be key. If we start to see some sort of tapering, you know, maybe worse than expected. And I think that does play into our view in terms of broader tech. Our view today continues to be 16,000 NASDAQ is, is, is our target.